crowds expected at the Priest Field for this fourth round second replay, and everyone will be hoping that Steve Bruce can reproduce the form that made him the Jill's hero in the previous clashes. At Goodison, the tall number four attacking the goal came as near as anyone to breaking the deadlock. Mammoth with the corner. What a good header! And it was off the line, I think, from Harper. Possibly a south ball save, but my money's on the fullback. Bruce was also in sparkling form in the first replay at Gillingham last week. He was commanding in defence and won almost everything in the air. Such performances earned him glowing praise, not only from his own manager Keith Peacock, but also from the Everton boss, Howard Kendall. How would you rate Gillingham? They're a good side, a very difficult side to play against because um, they've got so many big lads. Uh, Cascarino wins a lot upstairs and, uh, and also they had Bruce at the back. He puts his long throws in and then he comes up and heads them himself. He's on the end of them. <laughs> and so to tonight's replay. Steve Bruce spent the day relaxing at home with his wife Janet and their pet boxer Bruno. There was no sign of any pre-match nerves. And yet for Steve, there's more than just Gillingham's cup run at stake. His contract expires at the end of the season and several big clubs are thought to be keeping a close eye on the talented 23-year-old. People are saying, you know, you've been the shop window, and a lot of press people have been saying, you know, that you've been doing well, and this club and that club is looking at you. But uh, I've heard it all before, Gareth, you know, and um, I just put it behind me and go out and play the game, and if anybody's interested, then that's up to the, the management and the, uh, the directors, and if the offer's good enough, hopefully, they'll let me go. But does that give you an extra spur to play that? Yeah, obviously, it gives you a spur, obviously, you know, I've been, you know, I've been uh, quite pleased with my two performances I've played against them, and... Uh, it gives me a spur, and obviously the crowd picks me up a bit, and uh, I always like playing in front of a full house than rather two, three thousand. Are you playing for Gillingham Football Club or for Steve Bruce? Um, well, I think uh, our assistant manager summed it up there. Uh, you've got to play for your own performance first, and then the team, you know. If you, your performance is good and your performance is up to scratch, then obviously you, the team's going to benefit from you. Is there a danger now that after 210 minutes of football between the two sides, that the first division team will inevitably win through in the end? That's what uh, a few people have been saying to me, and uh, obviously, uh, you know, they are a first division side and they've got better players than us. That's, you know, it's a known fact. But uh, we'll go out there and do the same job as we've done twice in a row. And we've got nothing to fear from Everton. In fact, we've had the better chances. And uh, say Oxford, Oxford uh, played Manchester United three times and they beat them. So why can't we not do the same? 